Hi and welcome to Teacher Thursdays. Thank you so much for the response to my previous video where I saw many of you had sent me pictures of trying out the material and working with the children and it's so encouraging to hear such beautiful comments from all of you. So here's a, another video on arithmetic. However, this is for the 3 to 6 year olds. And there are five more act, uh, activities in this video, but I'm pretty sure I've snuck in quite a few more. So watch the video entirely. Let me know what you think. Arithmetic in the primary environment, which is for the two and a half to six year olds, uh, usually progresses like this. We wait for the awakening of the mathematical mind in a child at the age of around three or three and a half. So what happens is that that's the age when children are able to say, you know, I want one more or how much and they're able to recognize math and uh, they're able to look for precise quantities all around them. So that's the awakening of the mathematical mind. Any new concept in arithmetic is basically follows the same pattern. For example, look at this picture. What do you see? A pile of sand? Great. Now look at this number. Now you've got the picture, you've got the symbol. Let's put them together and help you associate it. This is how arithmetic happens in the primary environment as well. Quantity, symbol and association. Across concepts, across operations as well. In this video, you will see activities that will help a child recognize numbers from 0 to 10. Uh, these are activities which are given in the Montessori environment using a certain number of materials. So, before I progress further, if your child is already in a Montessori environment, the DIY materials, do-it-yourself materials that I've suggested have to be shown to your children only after talking to their teacher and understanding where they are, are they ready for it or have they been presented it earlier. So back to arithmetic, uh, one material I would like to talk to you about is the number rods. The number rods are a very elementary, you know, I mean very basic material in the primary environment but are so important. So this is how we start quantities introduction. For example, the small red rod is 1, the next one is 2 and so on and so forth. Um, we introduce the quantity, then we introduce the symbols using sandpaper and figures and then we associate the number rods to the cards by giving them several activities. Now the beauty of the number rods is that it starts from something that they've already worked on as, uh, as uh, younger children in the environment. It's called the long rods. It looks almost exactly the same except there are no markings for the units. Remember that I spoke about how I love that the monastery materials are scientific and precise. For example, the long rods and the red rods and the number rods, uh, the measurements of these rods uh, come from 10 centimeters and increase by 10 centimeter for each rod and such that the last one is one meter. So when the child carries the rod to his mat, his or her mat, he's actually uh, sensorially absorbing the length of a meter as well. The important thing to note about the number rods is that they lend themselves to cardinal counting but they also help in this way. For example, uh, a very young child, if you show them one object and give it a name, they will think that, okay, that's the name of that object and there's no other name for it. For example, you pick up a pen and you say, this is a pen. You pick up another pen and say, these are two pen. This is one and this is two. That doesn't make sense because this is a pen, this is also a pen. So the number rods very clearly show that one is this much, two is this much, three is this much and so on and so forth. So that's something I like about those number rods as well. Another beautiful thing about the number rods is that they lend themselves later to several exercises around memory, memory and addition, subtraction, even multiplication and division is somewhat imbibed when they look at the uh, number rods. So that's why the number rods are very essential and form the basis for the entire arithmetic section of the Montessori method in the classroom. Here are some for a few more activities based on materials in the Montessori environment. I've also included the pictures in the video for uh, the materials that you can try out to make at home. And some of the activities are just using whatever you have at home as well. So try them out. 
please do send me pictures please do send me your comments and let me know how it goes check them out bye